in Forza Motorsport 4, we had Kinect, and it returns in Forza Motorsport 5, but it's been slightly tweaked. The new Kinect sensor has better sensitivity, better precision. So we were able to change head tracking to be more based on lean. What we've seen is when players get really into racing, they put body English on their on how they drive. And that actually helps them look into the corner. It becomes a more immersive experience. It's very subtle, but it adds the immersion. As a lot of people know, we actually started out as you know a Kinect title. What what do we actually want to do with it? And we had this you know concept like, you know, I'm a battlefield general. So with my you know controller, I control my sword and shield, I control my character and my combat experience, but with my voice, I command units. So as people will see, you know, you use your voice in these scenarios where you have, you know, archers and you tell them, you know, cover me and they fire and kill guys around you, or you tell them, you know, hold that position, you know, cover the front line and they'll take care of that. Like after you play the game for a while and you start using the voice, you start sort of taking on a bit of Marius's character. So it's not it's not like fire volley, it's like fire volley! When we looked at Kinect, we, we see an opportunity for evolution. We just saw that, you know, if you got attacked, well, you just kind of just, just want to push them off. So that's what we developed as one of our, our, our starting features, where you get attacked by these zombies, you don't get the button game, you just push them right off. It's just so natural. Like, you know, like in a race game, you kind of naturally tilt your body, right? And then when something attacks you, like, nah, get off me, right? And you can do that sitting down, you know, kicking back, laying sideways. I, I didn't want to break a sweat. I don't want to look dumb. Oh, I just want to be able to play my game and, and not, not feel like I'm interrupted. And then I think we've achieved that. You know, we're really excited with Just Dance 2014 to be able to actually utilize the Connect 2 to actually capture six people simultaneously. Now, even more people can play, be scored, and join in on the Just Dance fun. You know, on the 360, we always talk about monkey see, monkey do, and we say, well, now we finally got a monkey. And you can basically smile, and the animal smiles, and you can wink, and the animal winks. And it's, it's directly one-on-one, -on -one. you can move your head. And, and, and so the emotional connection, it really feels like there's another being on the other side, and it reacts to you much beyond what we could do before. Crimson Dragon is a 3D rail shooter. It'll actually be flying on the back of a dragon. And as you lean to the left or lean to the right, it'll actually read that and it'll have your dragon in the game to be doing dodge rolls to the left or to the right. So you can keep your fingers on the trigger, you don't have to lose any of your accuracy, and just be making those quick moves and those quick decisions, and the game is responding to you naturally. You'll also be able to use voice commands in the game to command your wingman. So you'll be able to tell them to advance forward, to fall back, and to unleash that combined strike that I was talking about before. It makes for a much more engaging experience, and we're actually giving players who use the Kinect a little bit of a benefit in the game by doing some extra damage and giving them some extra energy and that sort of thing to basically reward them for becoming more involved with the game. But when you really um, jump into using Connect in the game, it completely changes everything. What's really interesting is Swery's um, Connect design pillars are empathy and replication of senses. The idea is basically you have a one-to-one -one mapping between what the player is doing and what David Young, the detective, is doing in the game. And that gives you more of a sense of empathy with that character as you play. So the upgrade to uh, the new Kinect sensor is, is first and foremost the play space is, is a lot smaller than you used to have to be. We have a much wider field of view so you can get a lot closer, you don't have to move your furniture around as much, it's just much more simpler to play. And then also the tracking is, is much, much more precise. Our estimates is about 10 times more precise than we had previously, which allows us to do things like open close hands on the wake racer, um, you can hit different shots in tennis. Uh, as well as hitting different shots in soccer and use rotation in bowling. So it really opens up whole new opportunities when we look at each of the sports. But uh, mainly when you download pre-season on Connect Sports Rivals, you'll be able to feel that control on your Xbox One for yourself at launch. <laughs>